Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Four Boys Little Homestead slash Papa's Place. As always, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. Guys, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. This here is the Heist Wheel Hoop. Now, y'all know most of my in-ground gardening got ground cover on it. Well, when I was trying to decide if I wanted to go with ground cover or not is when I started looking at these wheel hoes. And I went with the ground cover, but if I didn't have the ground cover, what y'all just witnessed was the first time I ever had this in my hands. But I went to town the other day, and I was driving through town, and when I passed a local gas station, of course I looked that way, and I seen this sitting on the sidewalk. So I done me a quick 360 and I turned around. I said, I think it's time for me to top my truck off with gas anyway. So I pulled up there and I got out and it was sitting there with a for sale sign on it. It was the single wheel high so Had the, the three cultivator teeth. That's what it is. I went blank there. Couldn't think of a proper name for them. And they have never been on here or used before. has the plow which you can mount as a fur rower or you can I forgot how it mounts because I ain't put it on there there we go or you can mount it as like a middle buster plow which I use that part on putting down drip irrigation I know but the only piece that fella had used, he had this one furrow just on one side. This is here had never been put on before. He just used it to throw dirt up beside his row and then he'd come back down the other side. So all he ever used was one side. Also, it had the eight inch osculating hoe. As you can see, it's never been used. Now guys, Papa got lucky that day. If I remember correctly, I think I got this for $65. <laughs> He's kept it in his shed. It ain't rusty. But I just thought I'd show y'all what Papa come across. And I'm gonna like it. Y'all see out here where I got these purple hole pink eyes planted. And I planted them thick here because I'm mostly wanting this just for a cover crop for the summer. But I did kind of have it spaced out where I could get this wheel hoe down between there. But you can see some of them down there. I got some seeds thrown off to the side, so I just went on and cut them out. I think I got way more planted here than this little spot needs. It's going to cover it pretty good. But y'all just witnessed the first time of using it. And I think I'm gonna like it.
Y'all just witness how fast I can go down one row and come back down the other, and I think this is about 45 foot long rows. I don't think it quite made 50. Now, if you got some hard compacted clay soil that's done set up real hard, it may not cut through there so, so easy, but I keep compost put on this every year. So my soil ain't a sandy soil, but it don't get too compacted. Now anybody that's got somewhere where they got sandy soil gardening, and you don't use ground cover, I would really take me a good look at the house hose. Now this one here, I'm probably going to end up, you can buy another wheel and a conversion bar and turn it into a double wheel hoe. And we'll see, that's something I may do, especially the first year that when my ground cover goes bad, if I decide I don't want to buy ground cover and do that, probably buy me the conversion, make the double wheel hoe out of it. In the first year, I'd probably leave my inside garden ground cover fabric and do this outside garden here without the fabric just for a good trial run <laughs> the first year. Because I get pretty busy in the summer and I don't want my garden that's growing up in grass because I ain't got time to weed it. Guys, another thing I like about them is how versatile they are and how easy they are to adjust. Now what I'm doing right here, you can set these up in so many different configurations. I'm sliding my two outside teeth in close together like that right there. Now, I can go down through them rows that I got really close together. But with all the accessories that they offer for these things, if a man had a single wheel and a double wheel and, and all the accessories, and he's got a good garden, it ain't good hard compacted clay, it'd be a little workout in some hard compacted clay, but if you got a decent soil garden, that's all a man would need. So maybe before my filter cloth wears out, I'll come across another one of these and be a double wheel hose. Or another single wheel, then I can buy the conversion and I have both of them, huh? So now that I got these adjusted in, I can go down between these narrow ones. I don't know why I waited so long to come across one of these myself. 
there's no way you could have done this with a hoe. I done this whole spot before I could done just one row with a hand hoe. Come up with another tater out of the patch too that I missed the other day when we and Coach was digging taters. But guys, as with everything I show, there'll be an Amazon affiliated link in the description below this video if you'd like to go check these out. And if you want to see all of the accessories and stuff, go to HaasTools.com. Tell Mr. Hoss over there that Papa sent you.